hello everyone and welcome back to our channel so for today our first question is here a company is adopting aws code deployed to automate its application deployments for a java apache tomcat application with an apache web server the development team started with a proof of concept created a deployment group for a developer environment and performed functional tests within the application after completion the team will create additional deployment groups for staging and production the current log level is configured within the apache settings but the team wants to change this configuration dynamically when the deployment occurs so that they can set different log level configurations depending on the deployment group without having a different applications revision for each group so the question is how can these requirements be met with the least management overhead and without requiring different script versions for each deployment group options are a tag the amazon ec2 instances depending on the deployment group then place a script into the application revision that calls the metadata service and the ec2 api to identify which deployment group the instance is part of use this information to configure the log level settings reference the script as part of the after install life cycle hook in the app spec.yml file option b create a script that uses the code deploy employ sorry its environment variable deployment group name to identify which deployment group the instance is part of use this information to configure the log level settings reference this script as part of the before install life cycle hook in the app spec.yml file option c create a code deploy custom environment variable for each environment then place a script into the application revision that checks this environment variable to identify which deployment group the instance is part of use this information to configure the log level settings in reference the script as part of the validate service life cycle sorry it's life cycle hook in the app spec.yml file option d create a script that uses the code deploy environment variable deployment group id to identify which deployment group the instance is part of to configure the log level settings reference the script as part of the install life cycle hook in the app spec.yml file so the correct answer is option d next question is a company requires its developers to tag all amazon elastic block store volumes in an account to indicate a desired backup frequency this requirement includes ebs volumes that do not require backups the company uses custom tags named backup frequency that have values of none daily or weekly that correspond to the desired backup frequency an adult finds sorry it's an audit finds that developers are occasionally not tagging the ebs volumes a devops engineer needs to ensure that all ebs volumes always have the backup frequency tags so that the company can perform backups at least weekly unless a different value is specified so the question is which solution will meet these requirements options are a set up aws config in the account create a custom rule that returns a compliance failure for all amazon ec2 resources that do not have a backup frequency tag applied configure a remediation action that uses a custom aws systems manager automation runbook to apply the backup frequency tag with a volume weekly option b set up aws config in the account use a managed rule that returns a compliance failure for ec2 volume resources that do not have a back backup frequency tag applied configure a mediation action that uses a custom aws systems manager automation runbook to reply the backup frequency tag with a value of weekly option c turn on aws cloud trail in the account create an amazon event bridge rule that reacts to ebs create volume events configure a custom aws systems manager automation 
run book to apply the backup frequency tag with a value of weekly specify the run book as the target of the rule option d turn on aws cloud trail in the account create an amazon event bridge rule that reacts to ebs create volume events or ebs modify volume events configure a custom aws systems manager automation run book to apply the backup frequency tag with a value of weekly specify the run book as the target of the rule so the correct option is option b next question is a company is using an amazon aurora cluster as the data store for its application the aurora cluster is configured with a single db instance the application performs read and write operations on the database by using the cluster's instance endpoint the company has scheduled an update to be applied to the cluster during an upcoming maintenance window the cluster must remain available with the least possible interruption during the maintenance window what should a devops engineer do to meet these requirements options are a add a reader instance to the aurora cluster update the application to the use to use the aurora cluster endpoint for write operations update the aurora cluster's reader endpoint for reads option b add a reader instance to the aurora cluster create a custom any endpoint for the cluster update the application to use the aurora cluster's custom any endpoint for read and write operations option c turn on the multi az option on the aurora cluster update the application to use the aurora cluster endpoint for write operations update the aurora cluster's reader endpoint for reads option d turn on the multi az option on the aurora cluster create a custom any endpoint for the cluster update the application to use the aurora cluster's custom any endpoint for read and write operations so the correct answer is option c that's all for today thank you everyone and please do not forget to like and subscribe our channel and if you find this video helpful please let us know in the comment box that's all for today thank you everyone have a nice day